Hey there, my name is Steve Jaguar. This is another Beer Native Beer Review. All right, check this out right there. Subscribe if you're new. Tick the box and follow me on other platforms like Instagram and Twitter. I'm Beer Native TV. I'm pretty easy to find. Just search for Beer Native and Beer Native TV. And friend me on Untapped. I'm Steve Jaguar, all one word on Untapped. In this one, I'm going to be reviewing a, a weird style of beer. It is a white stout, um, cloud water and physical research collaboration, uh, rich and indulgent white stout, a luxurious pale ale, pale, oh no, sorry, a luxurious pale dessert beer infused with coffee, cacao, and vanilla. Now, I'm just going to bash into this because what we're doing now in these reviews, if you're new, if you come back from a previous one, is we're going to review for quick and dirty and fast, pour it into a glass, see what it looks like slurp it and then we'll learn more about the beer and the brewery and the process and all the stuff that you know the real beer geeks want later um but i will let you know that a white stout yeah you heard it you're thinking what does that mean that sounds like it's going to create racial tension or something a white stout is roughly described a a joke beer almost that is a golden ale that is trying to mimic the mouthfeel, the tastes. It's trying to mimic in a blind test, sip it, you actually think you're drinking a stout. So it there's a whole history. I'm going to get into that after we try it. Uh, let's pop it now. This is by so Cloudwater. I'll even show you where to buy it in a moment. Uh, I think, oh, all, off the back of where to buy it, this is actually really important. This is where I got it. I got it at Beers at UK. Use discount code Beer Native to get 10% off your white stout. Thank you, Beers UK, for helping out my channel. All right, let's pour this into the glass. This stout into the glass, right? Ready for this? If you're new to this flavor. Hey, wait a second, Steve. That's not a stout. That's a golden ale. You don't know anything about beer. Yep, that's probably true. But I know, look, see, but we are going to have to be careful with this one, right? We're expecting a a fuzzy, stouty looking head. We're expecting it to behave like a stout. And it kind of is, it's passing the head test. Like, look at that. That's, that's nice. And I'm, I'm not just taking a teeny glass. I'm taking a big fat uh, beer heads glass. Uh, that was intentional this time. Seeing as I got this beer at beer heads. I'm, I'm going to give up on that last little bit. Let's give it a little smell. Coffee, cacao, and vanilla. Yeah. So I'm close my eyes. Let's close my eyes. Let's get into the, let's get into it, right? So I shut, I would tell, I would say this is a stout because they have succeeded in fooling me with the, with the coffee and cacao. I just got a fuzz on my nose. I would sip the head. See, I might catch on the head because the heads, I'm getting a little bit of hoppiness and I'm picking up mostly vanilla off the head. When you've got a real roasted malt involved, you know that the head's creamier and you get, you get that roastiness and mostly what I got there was vanilla. So I might be catching on now. All right, let's give it a first little sip. Okay. That's actually a pretty good beer. It's sweeter than I expected, but it's, it's sweet like a porter. But it does have that coffee. It's like, it's like there's a stout, but there's just something weird about it. It doesn't have that lush... I guess the mouthfeel is probably the one thing is I would say they haven't quite got it. They would have to make it, make it hazier, I think, to really crush it. But the still got headset staying there. It still looks nice. Do I like it? I actually think they, I do like it. I'm not over the moon with it. I'm not going to go buy a ton of it. I think it could have been better with a really killer resinous hop. 
that would have held it up a little bit. They got, they're relying a little too much on the adjuncts, I think. Because the coffee, the cacao, and the vanilla, they shine through and they are mixed very nicely. Uh, the sweetness makes it a bit portery. Or it, it makes me feel like it's a dark beer. But they could have pushed a, a, a hop in there. I don't know what the hop is, actually. Maybe it says in the can. Let's take a quick look. I don't think it did. Let's see what it says. There's a little bit more information on the back, which I will read. Actually, I will let you read, but I will read it with you. Here we go. A pale dark, a pale beer that tastes like a dark beer or a dark beer that looks like a pale beer. Hmm. In these strange, surreal times, it's hard to know what's real. Maybe none of it. So close your eyes, settle into a state of deep relaxation and savor this luscious, delicious beer, dessert beer infused with cacao, vanilla, and ooh, Rwandan Gatesi by Gatesi Beans from our friends at Workshop Coffee. Hey, there we go. Another collaboration. Very nice, right? I think it, the sweetness, the sweetness reminds me of an under fermented homebrew. And that may, that sounds really insulting, right? Probably because I'm 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 more insulting my own homebrew than I am this, but there's a funny flavor which is not my favorite. So I'd probably give this, in terms of just straight up flavor, seven. I'm gonna go seven, not my favorite. The last white stout I had, I gave it like a four. I just thought this is the worst format of any beer ever. Uh, joke or no joke, it sucked. So this is redeeming. Uh, all right, so I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. It's Cloudwater's White Stout. Now come with me, and we're going to learn a little bit more about what the deal is with the White Stout, right? Because it is of the new styles, arguably a style, right? If not a weird joke, uh, unique. So let's let's go to the share screen, and let me introduce you to... Oh, I have multiple me's on the screen. Uh, let's get rid of the two meats, that, that me. So this is Anthony. Yeah. He's a pretty sick bastard. He is a American guy uh, living in Germany. You can see he's surrounded by all the German beer accoutrements. And he did a whole show, The White Stout Origin Story. Check it out here. It was released on April 5th. If you want to know what it is, you want to know the history of it, you got to check this video out. I'm going to link to it right above me right now. And that that's that's your further education. It means I don't have to get into it. You want to know who brewed it? This is Cloudwater. Cloudwater has a ton of killer beers. The last one I reviewed on the channel was this. It's springtime in Japan, which was outstanding. Go check that out. I will link to that just here. It'll probably come out at the end of the video anyway as a recommendation. And where I bought it. You can't buy it here. I, I think it's gone. It's past its time. But you can buy it here at Beerheads, beers.uk. You can't quite see it on here, but you can see it right here in giant letters, beers.uk. Now, if I search for white stout, ah, it should come up and there it is. Okay, so you can see it's a little expensive. What's the alcohol level on it? When you see the price, you're like, hey, that's a wait a second. Where is it? Oh, it's an 8%. Ah. That's sneaky. I didn't even clue into that. It doesn't taste boozy in the slightest. It tastes eh, maybe like a 5.5. So beware if you buy one. But there it is. Very nice photos, actually. Cloudwater wants to provide those. So you can go buy it there for $7.20 or, hey, $0.72 cents off if you use the Beer Native code. All right. So what is going on with this? But uh, yeah, why does my other thumbnail keep coming up? The uh, pains of, of of trying to run run a show. All right. All right, so that's kind of it. I'm not going to get too into it um, more than that, but because all the work is being done by the White Stout. I'm going to give you a brief history. I'm, 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 let's get rid of Anthony. Bye. So the idea of the Stout, I believe he says in there somewhere that it was an April Fool's joke. And I think the first White Stout goes back to Stones, and of course the Americans made it. But the fact that it's lived on, I actually did a session with Anthony and a bunch of the other guys who we all got, managed to get a White Stout and we all 
we all sat up in late night and and drank them together and i don't know if he's got that on his channel or not i'll have to find out but it was really fa quite fascinating that that we were really polarized about it so i'd really love to leave a comment if you've had a white stout please leave it in the comments and tell me if you liked it or tell me of other white stouts you've had because the one i got was crap this one's actually not bad but they're just really scarce in the uk we haven't really caught on to it yet so it's cool the cloud water did this one uh in terms of my normal scoring now is it accurate that's the biggest one right because it failed on mouthfeel i'm gonna give it a four a four out of five because i'm my understanding if you look at the one that anthony's having there oops beer cam where are we that is the dragon's milk white stout that appears to be the benchmark so I'm going to have to say four for having nailed this. I'm assuming there's a five out there. In terms of uniqueness, it is unique. I just I just threw some on my face. Hmm. A little bit left in the can. I'm going to go four because they, they, they tried for something that is super unique and it's hard to do. Uh, do I give them five for uniqueness? No. I, th I don't think so. Four and four. So it's an eight uh, for accuracy uniqueness. I actually kind of like the art, but it's nothing really that special. I'm going to give them a straight up uh, three and three. Six on that one, so that's a 14, plus a seven is a 21 out of 30. Admirable. Uh, but I would say keep trying, because the day I have a white stout that tricks me into thinking it's a stout, I will give that quite a high score, because I am a big stout fan. All right, that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. My name is Steve Jaguer. If you're new to the channel, same with the thing I said at the beginning, please subscribe, tell your friends, put it on Twitter. People want to know what a white stout is. Come to me, go check out Anthony. My name's Steve Jaguer. Thanks for watching.